Hello, I'm Luke Pasqualino here on the set of uh, The Musketeers Garrison. Um, today I'm going to be taking you through some of our special effects uh, and Colin, our producer, has kindly volunteered to help me out because he'd never make us do anything that he wouldn't do himself, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, this is basically what we call fuse. Uh, this is used for priming gunpowder. It's cotton dipped in black powder um, and when it burns, it burns hard and fast and will uh, blow up its target. Put that fire out, please. Now, a lot of people get shot in the musketeers. Um, so we have what is called a squib. 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 A calamari. So uh, this is basically a small pouch packed with dust, sometimes blood. Um, and it's connected to a small wire here, which is triggered from a, a small button behind camera. So I'll show you how that works. Take the gun. Heat it up, flick the little switch, and <laughs> dead. Being a musketeer, we have a lot of sword fighting to do, and obviously we use retractable blades, as you can see. So if I give Colin a little, ah! oh no, <coughs> so no, that wasn't a, wasn't a retractable one. These are obviously the retractable blades; they go in, in and out like so, as you can see. So now, if I give Colin a small jab, it's uh, he's fine. Next we have what may look like an ordinary melon, but it isn't. As you can see, there are some uh, wires hanging out of the inside. That's because there's a, an explosive device actually inside this melon, much like we use for the squib. Um, it's connected to a small piece of wire, which is triggered by a uh, button behind camera somewhere. Uh, in episode five, we are celebrating Porthos's birthday, um, and there's a scene where he decides to shoot a melon off of Aramis's head in rather an inebriated state. So we're going to show you how we did that. And yeah. <laughs> Used to be sand in that. We smash uh, a few people over the head with glass bottles in uh, the Musketeers. Um, it looks like an ordinary glass bottle, but it sounds quite plasticky. That's because it's called uh, sugar glass. It's made up of uh, sugar glass and real glass. Um, so it kind of breaks quite easily, which is you know, good for the scenes. Right, Howard? Yeah. What are you doing? Just have a little reader. Yeah. Right. Right. See Now obviously being a musketeer there are occasions where you have to throw the odd bomb or two. Uh, these are made basically with the fuse that we spoke about before, cotton dipped in black powder, placed inside this hollow ball. So what we do is we light it up, let it spark and get rid. 